Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial from the Reaper blog. I'm John. In this video, I'm going to explain media cues. Media cues are markers within WAV files. They can be inserted by Reaper. They're also often used in field recorders. For example, the uh, Zoom H4n, if you press the record button while it's already recording, it will insert a marker. Inserting markers is a great way to call attention to something when you're editing later. Uh, it's also a good way to organize samples. So today I'm going to show you something you can do with media cues. Here I've got some recordings, uh, again, actually recorded on a Zoom H4n, and uh, they're just, I think this is a chopstick, and this is a butter knife uh, doing uh, a boing sound on a table. I'll just play it. All right, so I'm going to export this as one long file, and I'll put a marker at the beginning of this one and at the beginning of this one to show that the first one's chopsticks and the second one is a butter knife. So uh, I'm just going to put in a regular marker. So call this chopstick. And here I will do another marker and butter knife. So I will make a selection for the entire set of samples. Go to export. I'll name this Boing, for lack of a better word for this. I'm going to keep the same sample rate, WAV file, 24-bit. And there's this option here. Normally, it looks like this, do not include markers or regions. And we want this markers only option. We could do markers and regions. There aren't any regions. So actually, let's do that. Rendering time selection with markers. I'm going to add it back into the project so we can see it immediately. And here. So now there's little notes for us later, chopstick, butter knife on this item. OK, let me show you the uh, same thing, but with markers. So. <laughs> All right, so there's three distinct areas here. So let's do a time selection from here to here. Insert a region from selection. And I will edit this region to be called uh, wind up. And then drag this over to here. And we've got a new region. Edit that to be called spin, suppose. Spinning wheels. And another region. Edit that and call that stopping. All right, so I'm going to extend my time selection to fill the entire thing. OK, so we're going to export this, give it a name, markers and regions time selection, and we're going to add it back into the same project, render. So the difference between the markers and the regions is, uh, let me drag this off those grid lines, and we see that there's a line here, and there's an arrow pointing uh, for the start and end of the regions. Reaper can also do things with media queues. Let's try shrink to first media queue. Undo, split at media queues. So split at media queues would be a great action to use with your field recorder. So um, as you're recording, you're just tapping to drop in a marker. You can split at the media queues, and save you a little bit of time later on. And if you want to hide media queues, sometimes programs add in media queues that you don't want. Uh, some programs export with tempo information on all the items. It kind of gets in the way if you don't need it. You can hide the media cues with this option here. But when you need it, it's nice to have. All right, guys, that's about all I can say about media cues. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you found it useful. 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.